Hey, what is going on guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I know that it's been a while, but I've been rather busy with in real life stuff. Anyhow, today I'm back at you with another quick and easy tutorial as always. And today we're gonna be adding a camera shake effect inside of Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here I have a clip on my Premiere timeline. I actually have two clips and I also have an audio track. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that audio track and then we're gonna add markers onto the kicks so that we know where we want our camera shake to be. All right, so now we're gonna add the markers. Let me just expand this a little bit. Okay, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna do three effects only. So now that we have our markers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer, make sure that it fits your timeline, and we're gonna drag it on top. Now what we wanna do is gonna go to effects and we're gonna search for directional blur. And head over to the effects tab, and then we're gonna increase the blur length to about 60. Of course, this may vary depending on what uh, style you're going for, but I'm gonna go with 60 for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to each marker and we're gonna cut one frame before and one frame after. I'm gonna delete this. So now we have our first effect. Now we're gonna go here cut and another cut and now if we play it back it's gonna look like this now of course you can play with the blur length and you can play with the direction if you want. You can also increase the duration of the effect itself. That depends on what style you're going for and what video you're shooting. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.